Hi, everyone. It's great to see either your pictures or your names across my screen. And at the very beginning, I'm just going to ask if everyone would like to go on and rename themselves with your class year because we're going to be playing a trivia game that is um, honoring all your class years. So that's just helpful for us. Um, I just want to welcome everyone to this um, virtual kickoff event for the virtual reunion week. My name is Tracy Haggart Sutka. I am from the class of 82, I'm parent to the class of 17. I am the president of the Alumni Association. Um, I think like everyone, I envisioned a completely different kickoff event to reunion weekend. What I envisioned was our regular Alumni Association dinner that we have in Marquee and we have this nice dinner held on the Friday night before reunion. And we toast all of the re returning alumni, especially those alums who are celebrating milestone events. Instead, we have hopefully the next best thing, which is a fun event to kick off a week of incredible virtual events. There is literally something for everyone. Um, and hopefully all of these virtual events will whet our appetites for, for when we can gather on campus again. And it's got to be next year. It just really has to be. So um, let's all keep our fingers crossed. So the milestone reunions that we're toasting tonight, I'd like to congratulate all the members who are on the call tonight from the classes of 1970 and 1971 who are celebrating their 50th reunions. I'm mentioning the class of 70 as well as um, 71 because you members of the class of 70 couldn't have a reunion last year. So we're, we're doing some doubling up. I'd also like to congratulate the members of the classes of 95 and 96 who are celebrating their 25th reunions the classes of 2010, 2011, celebrating their 10th reunions, and the classes of 15 and 16, who were celebrating their fifth reunions. This would have been their first time back on campus. And like I said, we will be back. Also participating are alums from the 50 plus club, um, the classes of 55, 56, 60, and 61. So welcome everyone. This is a very exciting time for Lafayette. Second semester this year, students were able to go back to campus, which was wonderful after having to distance learn the first semester. Um, we're getting ready to welcome our 18th president of the college, Nicole Hurd, who will start her term on July 1st. We have over 800 freshmen arriving on campus this fall. Um, with a very after a very successful recruiting effort by our admissions team and we also can celebrate the 572 seniors who were able to graduate on may 30th in person on campus um, they are our newest alumni so if any of them are with us um, welcome not only are we returning to normal next year, but we are returning in a position of strength. I'd like to especially thank Rachel Moeller and Chris Tomek from the alumni relations team and your whole team for all the hard work that's gone into this virtual reunion week. Thank you for making it possible. Not every one of our peer institutions is even doing anything. Some of them aren't doing anything virtual. They're doing nothing at all. They're just being left in the lurch, but not the leopards. So I had to mention that. So at this alumni association, if this was the dinner, we have some business to attend to, which customarily would take place on that Friday night. This virtual event um, marks the end of my first year as the alumni association president. And what that means is that it is time to elect a new VP who will become the president in June 2022. So tonight, I am pleased to hold the election for our new VP, Michael Weisberger, also from the class of 72. 82, Tracy, 82. 82. Oh my goodness. 
and I'm even older than he is, so I, I, I can't even say that. Um, so I'd just like to, to make a couple of remarks about YC. He is not from the class of 72. He's from the class of 82, as is his wife, Jenny. And a lot of you probably know YC. He has a very long resume of volunteerism and service to Lafayette. He's currently the chair of the Lafayette Annual Fund on the Alumni Association Board. And probably what YC is most famous for is he and Jenny had a very um, successful trip in 2014 across the country to celebrate the 150th Lafayette Lehigh rivalry game. And they went across the country in this Lafayette themed Airstream and met alumni everywhere in the United States. And it just was just a wonderful event for the spirit of our school. YC has received almost every award for distinguished service that the college gives out. He's received the Bell Award, the Woodring Volunteer of the Year Award, the Wilson Distinguished Service Award. And back when he was young, he won the Mayfield Outstanding Young Alum Award. His father, Mark Weisbergers from the class of 55 is a trustee emeritus. And I, it's nice to note that he also served as the Alumni Association president. So without further ado, I say we elect this guy. Um, so here's some official, official quote here I've got to read. In accordance with the Alumni Association bylaws, I now call for a vote on Michael Weisberger's nomination as vice president. In a moment, a poll will pop up on your screen. Please select your yes or no vote in the poll. If you wish to abstain, simply do nothing. And now Rachel Muller from Alumni Relations is going to share the poll. All right, I'm keeping my eye on it. We're gonna close the poll in just a minute. So get your votes in. All right, seems like the votes have stopped. And Tracy, I am pleased to say that overwhelmingly the motion carries. Well, I am not surprised in the least. And um, YC, congratulations on becoming the vice president of the Alumni Association and you will be the next president next June. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. So uh, I'm gonna be very brief because we wanna get into this trivia. First of all, hi, Dad. How are you? Oh. Um, it's an honor to serve you in this capacity as Tracy has, and uh, you know, there are big shoes to fill. And I also just wanna say that in my capacity as chairman of the annual fund, uh, I've really had a, a terrific time working with Chad Davis. And I saw that Chad was on the call and that's been a real honor. And I know that our results speak for themselves. And uh, Chad, I just wanna thank you in front of all these folks because you are a good friend and uh, you've done a great job. So thank you so much for that. Uh, these are exciting times at Lafayette, new president, students coming back in person. We're all learning how to you know, come back in person and with enthusiasm. And I know that next June, uh, we'll come back undoubtedly in, in droves, maybe more than just the one reunion year. And I really look forward to that myself. Uh, I haven't been on campus in a long time. Uh, I would just say we want to continue a theme, which I know Tracy has carried on, which is one just to have you engaged in, the, in, in Lafayette as an alum, one way or the other. And that comes in all shapes and sizes. And there's, you know, there's not too little that you can do for Lafayette, whether it be service or contributions or meeting with friends, just we want you to be engaged and that will be a big part of what I do, carrying on the great work that Tracy has done. So I'm happy you're here and uh, I, I look forward to serving all of you and the rest of the alums. And Tracy, let's get on with the uh, fun. Thank you, everybody. All right, let's do it. I've been reading the chat. I wasn't trying to leave any reunion years out. I just want you to mention the big reunion years because that's a big deal. Like your 50th reunion, you don't want to have a pandemic and you can't have a reunion. So 
That's why I specifically mentioned those. So what we're going to do now with um, this trivia game is this is, there's going to be something for everyone. And we just ask that you put your answer in the chat. And um, most of the trivia questions are going to um, relate to the reunion classes that end in zero, one, five, and six. So we will have about 23 questions. Each one represents the reunion years between 1970 and 2016, as well as 2020 and 2021 to honor our most recent graduates. The questions are going to relate to pop culture, news, and Lafayette specific moments in, from those years. Um, just remember, if we ask for a date, the date is going to end in a zero, a one, a five, or a six. And because we're doing this in the chat and it's not easy for everyone to keep track, um, what we decided we were going to do is alumni relations are going to select some winners at random and send prizes out to you. So there are lots of opportunities to win prizes. And um, with that, I think, I don't, I don't think we have to say anything else, right, YC? So we're going to, we're just going to start and I'm going to ask the first question. So get ready to type away in the chat. You guys are very fast at that. First question, America's favorite fighting Frenchman and the rest of the cast of the phenomenon Hamilton pr premiered on Broadway in what year? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of people got that right quickly. All right. I just can't believe how quickly people can type. So that's prize for that. Um, and the answer is 2015. So exactly. A lot of so the next, that. the next question. And if you're on Socio, which I have managed to uh, download, if you're on Socio and you want to get some points, there's a point system on Reunion. You can win prizes. And the, my code is I am Lafayette, one word. I don't think it matters if it's uppercase or lowercase. So if you have Socio, put that in to win some prizes. Get, I think you get 50 points if you put that in. The next question is, if you were going to a formal in 1985, where on College Hill would you buy a corsage or boutonniere for your date? Yeah. Well done. Yeah. I don't think I ever went there. Maybe I did once. Did I take did I get you a corsage, Tracy? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and why would that be? <laughs> Okay, a lot of you answered Posey Peddler, which was right next door to Pops, where I was a Pops girl. There's no Pops question, so you, can, you don't have to worry about that, but that, I miss Pops. Um, all right, so good job. I think mostly girls got that. Yep, Brian Fink. Oh, yes, next to Pops. See the guys, you remember the sandwich. I don't blame you. Um, the third question, in 1966, so we're going back a ways here, what band that began at Lafayette College opened for the Beatles? Wow. Quick, quick. They're fast. And what was their hit, Tracy? I know that. Red Rubber Ball. That's right. That was on the jukebox at Jack's. That's right. All right, the next question. In 1971, how much did a one-way bus ticket cost from Easton to New York? Two beers. <laughs> nice. Nice Billy Tucker. Way to go. <laughs> Matt Pagano's pretty close. And Jeff Wheeler's close and 
I think Matt took that bus. Susan so, Grunwald, almost a little high. Jeff Wheeler's so the, bus. The cost was three dollars and eighty-five cents. Go ahead, Tracy. Good job, everyone. Next question. In two, oh, oh yeah, I can tell you the year. In two thousand six, what U.S. president passed away? Amos, yes. Amos, way to go. Yeah. Good job. Yes, that would be President Ford. Okay. In 1981, where was the hot place to take your parents to dinner on family weekend? Yeah, I never got a reservation. <laughs> uh, the answer we were looking for was widow browns which i know came out pretty quickly there that's very good everyone but windmill was a close second that's that right place was beautiful Agreed. and cht i guess if your parents want pickled eggs and an iced tea that costs like 49 cents good place to take them I wish I had thought of that. Oh, I love this question. I'm glad I get this. Um, in anticipation of women arriving on campus in 1970, what did the college install in Roof Hall where the women were going to be housed? Yeah. Phone jacks. Ironing boards is also correct, by the way. The answer we were looking for is bathtubs, which is just so nasty, but, but that is true that they were also, they put in ironing boards, which just crack me up if you ever met my friends. Okay. The next question. But a lot of people knew that. The next question is, in February of 1986, what ousted president of the Philippines Fled after a twenty-year, fled after a twenty-year rule. Yeah. So everyone knows that was Fer Ferdinand Marcos. Karen Frank Bush is very fast. I got to say. Kelly Noyant also fast. Wow. Okay. Um. YC, what question are we on? We're on question nine. Number okay. 10. Number 10 is on my, yep. All right. In the spring of, tw of 2000, a major financial gift was received by the college to renovate and ultimately rename one of Lafayette's academic buildings. Can you name the building with both its old and its new names? It's a tough one. No. So far, no. Wait a minute. No. No. I hope you have the answer, Tracy. I do. Good. No. All those things happened that people, all those changes were made. Um, that is when, nope, nobody got it. Alumni Hall of Engineering became a Copian Hall. That was the year 2000. Not one person got that right? No. Wow. Yeah. Uh, in what year did Lafayette's Army ROTC Battalion become dormant with Lafayette's company becoming part of Lehigh's Battalion? Nope. 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 And remember, it's going to end in a zero, one, five, or six. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Keep guessing. <laughs> oh, Donna Lucas Drake, congratulations. Yep. Yay. 
The year was 1991. The next question, what was the number one pop single in 2010? I think this was one of YC's favorite songs. Definitely. Oh, Susan. wow, Susan Grunewald. Nicely done. Rachel, Fun. do you have that queued up? Fun fact, I was Susan Grunewald's French teacher in Wilton, Connecticut, and I forced her to apply to Lafayette. She's That's a, a professor one. now because of me. Good job, Susan. Tracy, how do, Tracy, how do you say TikTok in French? Um, it's still TikTok. Yeah, it's pretty easy. The, uh, let's see, in what year did the movie The Rocky Horror Picture Show debut? Brian Fink, way to go. You gotta, you gotta buzz in quickly here to compete. Yeah, yep. Couple of people got it. Bill Tucker got it, Donna Lucas Drake, Brian West, Kelly Noyan again, Kathleen Munster. Yep, 1975. Hey, don't forget my code for, for to win prizes. I am Lafayette in the Socio app. Well, I also have a code to win prizes, and it is Sutka 50, S U T K A 50. And you win bigger prizes if you use my code than if you use YC's. Just had to throw that in. The next question, what is the name of Lafayette's 18th president, I may have mentioned it earlier, who begins her tenure on July 1st, 2021? Sandy Kaczynski beat everyone on that one. Excellent. President Nicole Hurd. Good job. In what year was the iPod launched? Oh. Uh, Sarah? Wait a minute. It went Sarah by too fast. First one. Yeah. A couple of people got it. It's 2001. Right. The answer went by us too quickly. We can't read that fast. Um, here's another teens question. What world renowned composer spoke at Lafayette in March, 2011? Susan Grunewald. Yep, Stephen Sondheim. Good job. Fabian Suzanne. In what year was the Americans with Disabilities Act established, formally recognize, recognizing the fact that people who are disabled physically as well as mentally are part of society? Uh, Kathleen Munster, way to go. Well wow. done. 1990, that was. All right, here is a question for some very young alums. In 2020, when we had to have a virtual commencement, who was the commencement speaker, the 2020 virtual commencement? Wow. Well, Jan Clock O'Sullivan, yeah. Adam, close, but no. <laughs> it was Temple Grandin. Very good. Uh, the next one is... <laughs> I'm going to skip one, and I'm going to say, what outbreak on campus caused the cancellation of classes for two days in March 2016? Yep, no, that Jeff Wheeler great. got that. Way to go, Jeff. The norovirus. Well done. 
Um, next question, on February 11th, 1995, what longstanding tradition did Lafayette seniors participate in? Sandy Close, right. <laughs> Kathleen Munster, got it. Stephanie Hayes, 100 nights. 100 days must be a different thing, yeah. Uh, what was Lafayette's tuition for the 2004-2005 academic year within, within $500? Kate Taylor. Wow. Well, that's pretty close. Yeah, you're within, yep. Yeah, well, you're close enough. $28,625. How did she get that? She said 28,000. That was an awesome guess. All right. Um, this next Billy, question. Billy Tucker paid that, by the way, for one of his kids. This next question, this is another one of YC's favorite songs. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the number one pop single for 1996? <laughs> when I think of this song, I think of him. <laughs> That's great, Tracy. Thanks so much. Now I know why I didn't buy a corsage. All right, Matt Pagano. Yes. A lot of you, yep. Steve Kanye, yep. Macarena, Brian West, Sarah Crichton. Sarah's getting all these, very good. I'm only kidding. Let me just say, I'm sure YC does not ever dance to that song. Okay, let me just, let me be honest here. I would, I would, Tracy. I all would. right, thank you. The uh, next question is, in 1980, where were movies shown on campus? That was be the, the basement in Party Hall Auditorium. I remember that well. I saw a lot of movies down there. Yeah. That's right. Farinon didn't exist. All right. So the basement of Party Auditorium. The next question, who was the class of 76's commencement speaker? Think government. Think finance. Oh, there we go. Ryan Fink got it. Yep. William Simon, class of 52, then the treasury secretary. Tracy, do you have some extra questions you want to ask? Thank you, Michael. I do have some extra questions I'd like to ask. And our extra questions are music related because that's really all we could come up with. Except I have one for the crowd that has nothing to do with music. What, name one of the first sororities when they were local. These are all the national names. Does anyone, any of you people who remember the locals? Okay, Delta Gamma, yep. How does he know that? No, no, Delta Gamma is a national. No, like for instance, um, Beta Gamma, Kappa Ta Omega, Gamma Delta Da, Ta, I think it was, I forget. I don't even remember. All right, all right, just throwing that out there for you 70s and early 80s people. All right, I have a question. I'm gonna go back a ways just in case any of the 50 plus alums are on this. What was the top single in 1966? Uh, 
Oh, which people are Googling, I just realized, but no, because you're not looking at the same website. All right, there's no one here from the class of 1966. The answer is California Dreamin' by the Mamas and the Papas. Tracy, can I ask people to input something in the chat? Yes, you may. Uh, I, when we were thinking about some of these questions, I thought to myself, what concerts were played on campus? Big concerts were played on campus when I was on campus. And so I'd like, if you, if you remember a group that was really big that played, please put it in because I, you'll see things like The Dead and Adam Ant, Jethro Tull, Springsteen. Wow. Wow. This is what I wanted to know. Very cool. I think when you and I were there, it was um, Hall and Oates. The Dead. Southside Johnny, The Grateful Dead. Who else? Uh, Bill Cosby was performed, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Southside Johnny. Okay. That's a good question. I would like to ask a question. When you were on campus, what was considered the best dorm to live in? No votes for Gates. I loved Gates. It was like Civil War era. There was like no electricity. Closest to campus pizza, yeah. McKean Gates, thank you, Bill Tucker. Wait, Jeff Ruthheiser, who I know, he's on here, and he said he saw Count Basie and Duke Ellington. What? When was that? That's crazy. Oh, down in Easton, I guess he said. I don't know who. Okay. That's cool. All right, Tracy, have we exhausted our questions for the evening? I think we have. Don't so forget I, our codes. Don't forget Tracy's code and my yeah, code. No, I'm going to mention that again. So thank you. We weren't sure how many of these questions we were going to get through. But this group is, I, I you guys knew, uh, it's incredible. Um, guys, thank you. I hope you thought that was fun. And I hope next year when we will probably have two weekends in a row to try to get have an opportunity for everyone who wants you to come back to campus. I really, really want to see everyone back on campus and we can actually have some fun in person. Um, please take a look at the event that is going on tonight at eight o'clock. This is an event called A Shot in the Arm, COVID Vaccines and Our Slow Climb Out of the Pandemic with Dr. Glenn Rawl, class of 85. That begins at eight o'clock. There's going to be, um, there's a link, well, there's so many links, they're going by so quickly, um, for all the other events and for this event, the Shot in the Arm event. Um, also, as YC mentioned before, if you haven't joined the Reunion app for access to all the great sessions this week. You really, really should. Um, I'm even gonna try to do it. Not only is there easy access to all the sessions, but you can connect with fellow alumni. Um, you can message people, you can open video calls. It's truly the virtual version of running into each other on the quad. The links are also in the chat to join. Um, and as YC mentioned, if you can put in our game codes, YC's is, what is yours again? I am Lafayette or something? Yeah, I am Lafayette. And mine is Sutka 50. And um, so you'll see what the codes are when you join the app. And you can enter these codes throughout the week for a chance to win prizes, including um, your next in-person reunion. The, the registration will be free. Camp, campus housing will be free. That's one of the that's one of the prizes. Um, 
And the last thing I want to say is a little bit of a commercial announcement, but I always want you to be on a commercial. You'll see on the reunion website, oh, this thing is heavy. Hey, Rachel, somebody piped in while we we're there saying that the codes weren't working. So I don't know, but you might want you or Chris might want to check that. Yep, we, okay. we checked. They should be working, but we'll double check it. Thanks, YC. Okay. So this is one of the reunion boxes that I registered for. And you cannot believe the swag that is in this, like a hat that I could have worn tonight to look like YC, but I just blew dry my hair. A new cup, there are stickers, there's a beach towel, there's a beach ball. There's a mask that I hope to never have to wear again. There's sunscreen. This is really, really fun. So there's also a link to the swag box. Um, everyone order one of these, they're just fun. And as the Alumni Association president, just echoing what YC said before, one of the best things you can do as an alum, is just wear the Lafayette stuff. You know, I'm up in Nantucket almost all summer. I wear anything with Lafayette on it. Kids ask me questions, parents ask me questions. I've run into so many alums. So just let's all show our pride and um, you know, you can order the box and there's all kinds of stuff you can, you can use. So thank you all so much for coming tonight. Please check out, there are so many links, it's getting scary. I couldn't possibly keep track of all those. Please keep um, joining more events this week. There's a lot of other things. We will have a state of the college on Wednesday night at seven with Allison where we can bid her farewell. And I hope to see everyone there and at a lot more events. So thank you all so much for joining us tonight and congratulations again, YC. I look forward to working with you. Thank you, Tracy, ditto. And doing the Macarena with you. Of course, and I'll <laughs> buy you a corsage. Thank you. <laughs> He's such a liar, but okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Tracy, I'm going to play the alma mater if anybody wants to stay oh, on for I that. Forgot. No, no, that's um, fine. So I will, I'll, I'll play it for anybody who may want to stay on for it. I was okay. supposed to say that, that there's going to be a video. No one has to sing, but we can all stick around for the alma mater and then, then we'll all tune out. So thanks, everybody. We'll gather by the twilight's glow in front of old party. In all the world no other see so fair, so dear to me. Oh, Lafayette, oh, Lafayette, to Twilight's glow in front of old party. In all the world, no other see so fair, so dear to me. And future years shall not erase these gems of memory. seen again, impressed so firmly there. Oh, Lafayette, oh, Lafayette, oh, joyous college days, there while these loyal hearts shall be. Twilight's glow in front of old party. In all the world, no other scene so fair, so dear to me. We'll gather by the twilight.
twilight's glow in front of old party in all the world no other seeing so Thank you everyone for coming. Have a great evening. We hope to see you at the eight o'clock session. Good night, everybody.